All right, well, let's try this again. <laughs> My original disc version apparently does not want to work anymore. So, well, at least I think just for the cutscenes, because it's so old. But we are playing Resident Evil. Oh, while I'm here, let's show this off. There's a little trick. Advanced version, if you hold right while you're on advanced, which is the hardest difficulty, it'll turn green. It'll actually double the amount of ammo you get throughout the game. Oh. Yeah, but we're just going to play on standard. <laughs> <laughs> only works for advanced? Yeah, only advanced. It does not work in any other difficulty. So I'm going to be doing... Okay. Halloween Fever. <laughs> I feel like I'm repeating myself because the second time we did it. <laughs> um, I'm going to be playing the original Resident Evil, which is depicted here, and I'll also be playing the remake. Um, side by side. So one week you'll see the original one, the next week you'll see the remake. So I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Also, I'm going to be playing this playthrough as Jill because... You get the funny Barry quotes. <laughs> That's why I'm choosing to do this this way. Um, and there's a little bit more interaction with the character and other people, with Jill. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be doing that, and I'm going to be playing as Chris in the remake. Alpha team is flying around the forest. And yes, there is no subtitle, so hopefully when you guys will be able to hear it. I think you will. Hopefully we're not talking too much. Nope, have not found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently. No, the reason why this is the second time we're trying this is, yeah, like I said, my disc version wasn't working; it was skipping here. And it's kind of like this, still skipping. Oh, this is the dual shock version. Oh god. <laughs> We're gonna get the crappy. Does this work on this one too? Yes it does. What a ranged beginner and original. So okay. I guess I can explain that. We'll cut we'll come back here. So a range, it's the same as advanced. It is the exact same thing, but they call it a range in this because all the items are in different locations. Uh, advanced mode in the original one is the exact same. It's still a range mode. They just called it in the DualShock version a range instead. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. So, third time we're doing this now. <laughs> Let's hope this works. This is... Because I had to download the digital version because my... This version apparently does not want to play the cutscene in the beginning here. It just keeps skipping. And now we're playing the DualShock version instead of the regular director's cut. Okay, for those of you who don't know, and we're going to be talking over the cutscene here, so we'll explain it to you. There's three different versions to the original Resident Evil. There's the Resident Evil, there's the director's cut, there's the director's cut DualShock version. And now we're playing the DualShock version. I really just like the regular director's cut, but... We'll explain more after the cutscene here. It was Bronco's this cutscene's no awesome, actually. Nobody was in Even though it has shitty voice acting. Strangely, most of the equipment was still. There. But look, look at that mocap shirt. However, we soon discovered. It's not mocap. This is actual video. Oh, it's live. Yeah, it's live. That's why it's kind of cool because a lot of I don't think any other game actually does this. Not from what I found. There might be some out there, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is Alpha Team. There's been bizarre murders everywhere. So they sent Bravo Team from the STARS unit, which is affiliated with the Raccoon City Police Department. They sent Bravo Team there. Bravo Team never came back. So they sent an Alpha Team in order to find them. And this is what they found. It's a blood. It's a bloodlust creature. Joseph! It's got the bloodlust. Get out of there! <laughs> it's got the bloodlust. <laughs> no! Oh, no! No! 
Don't go. This game has won awards for its voice acting. Not because it's good, mind you. <laughs> it is so bad. That's why I wanted to play it, though, because it is such shitty voice acting. <laughs> it's just a random mansion in the middle of nowhere. And it's funny, compared to everything else, it looks look like a postcard. <laughs> and then we get this cool cast thing, I love this. Chris Redfield. He's blood type O, you guys. You can give to anybody. I don't know why it has to tell us the stats, but it's fun. Does it say he- oh, he's 38! <laughs> Quality so bad, I thought it said 98. He's <laughs> 98 years old! Oh my god, he's old. Look at him. Well, Wesker's 36? I never even realized that. Resident Evil. I think that said 36. <laughs> Jill's only 23. She's just a year older than you, isn't she? Yep. Oh wait, we shouldn't be telling our ages, right? You gotta make people figure it out. What a mansion! <laughs> Whatever. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? And like the other five people that were with you. Stop it! Yeah. What the hell? But Chris is. And what if he's still out there? What was that? Maybe it's Chris. <gasps> now, Jill. Oh shit! Can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Oh, okay. What are you handling? <laughs> the main hall? I Stay think so. Alert. Oh, yeah. Stay alert. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, the reason why... I don't like this version more than, like, the regular director's cut, it seems weird, because there's three different versions of this game, is the music. <laughs> they fucked up the music in this game. I don't know why they decided to arrange the music, but the music's, like, completely different than the original version. What? What is this? And the director's cut. Those two had the same music. What is it? Blood. There's blood. Jill. I, f I feel like he sounds like a vampire when he says that. Blood. <laughs> I hope this is not Chris's blood. Now, I've noticed a lot of people do the standard, I'll go in the door, there's a zombie, oh shit. There's actually an alternate scene here, which I'm going to actually show off. That I feel like not very many people show. I don't think anybody on YouTube actually shows it off. Let's go back and talk to Wesker. Oh, yeah. Investigate if you hear any gunfire. Ogre. In the remake, I'll show off the regular scene with Chris, because I don't think there's an alternate scene with Chris either. There's actually alternate scenes for a lot of scenes in this game. Some of them you got to be careful because they might actually affect the ending to the game. Lost courage already? It's not <laughs> like you. Okay. I'm sorry, Barry. Well, do you even have a gun right now? Nope. Who is it? <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> she said it so calmly, too. Hey, you! Stop! <laughs> Run, Jill! He's insane! Is he? I think he's dead. He popped his head off from that far away. Right? Oh, well, he does have the berry can. No, so. sorry. Jill does have a gun. Chris doesn't start out with a gun. Let's report this to Wesker. So, I'll point out the key differences. Because with Chris, like I said, he doesn't start out with a gun. Um, Jill actually has two more item slots. Chris doesn't have these. He only has th six. Another big difference is... Chris has more attack and defensive power. He can actually um, get headshots more often. Yes, you can't aim in this. Besides for up and down. <laughs> Let's 
see. I can aim up and down, but you can't really... It auto-aims, so you don't really have to worry. But Chris has more attack and defensive power, so he actually lasts longer if he gets hit as well. But Jill has those two item slots, which I feel like makes the game a lot easier. And now is just gone. Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. <laughs> I can't get over this music. It sounds so different than the original. Is this even the same game? I don't know. <laughs> you know the funny thing is I've never actually played Find through the DualShock version, so this music is gonna just be so weird. Out? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. But I've played the, res the original Resident Evil so many times. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Yeah, I don't think okay. I've played any other copies of this other than uh, Director's Cut. Oh, okay. Gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. How do you know how big it is? You've been in two rooms. Floor, okay? And, Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Oh, master of unlocking, huh? <laughs> Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. So something they don't tell you in this game that they took... Because I read the book, actually, like a year ago. And the book actually came out after the game, so I don't know if it's actually... I doubt it's actually canon. But it's kind of interesting because it gives you some, like, background. And, like, the reason why Jill's the master of unlocking, according to the book, is because she actually used to be a, a criminal. And she actually used to break into people's, like, houses and stuff and steal things. Like a robber. She was a burglar? Yeah, pretty much. So she was a burglar. But in order to, I guess, atone for her ways, she joined the STARS unit. Like a police task force. That's basically what STARS is. So, so she's no longer a criminal. Get the scroll! Which is interesting. The scroll? Yeah. It's like a scroll. But I know it's the map of the first floor. <laughs> it's not like I even <laughs> need it. Okay, we'll show off. Back here. I, don't, I think there's bullets back here. If I remember correctly, so. That was just ink ribbon. Is it just an ink ribbon? Oh shit, come on! Stop his brains! Oh. I swear I walked around it, but whatever. Kicking works too, I guess. God damn it, I did just waste my time. I'm already in yellow for fun. God damn it. So yeah, that's another thing if you guys don't know. Your health is measured by that, um, the heart monitor thing down there. It says fine. Um, green fine means you're at 100% health. Yellow fine means you're between 75 and 50%. Or, sorry, 75 and 100%. Um, then you go to caution, which is 25 to 50% health. And then danger is beneath 25%. So. This door cannot be opened with Chris. Until way later in the game. Um, the lockpick unlocks that. Oh, shit! Doggies. The lockpick actually replaces one of the keys. Chris otherwise would have to find the key in order to get over here. Grab this herb. Grabbing herbs. Grab the weed? Weed! <laughs> Go to the bathroom here. I gotta take a dump, so. That's not very womanly to say. Who says that Jill's a woman? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's nothing in here with Jill. That's right. It's actually a waste of time to come in here. I think there's a small key in there with Chris, which Jill doesn't use small keys. Her small keys are replaced with lockpicks. No, technically, lockpicks replace the sword key. Oh, okay. yeah. Now that I think about it, maybe small keys aren't in the original. I think small keys are just in the remake. So. 
No, I thought there were small keys in this too. Is there? I, it's been so long since I played the original one with Chris. We're gonna get the boomstick early! Ha <laughs> ha Yeah! Boomstick! Oh, that didn't look good. I just went up. Surely nothing bad could happen. No, not at all. Oh god! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Loose cave, it ain't always locked. Put the shotgun back. No, I can't! Oh god! This is it! This is the end of drill. No! I just... No, game over! We haven't even saved it yet. No! I mean, we've only been playing for like 20 minutes. Hey, what's going on? What? Oh, hey, Barry. You, Barry, I thought you were checking out the dining hall. Yeah, what the hell? What are you doing over here? Barry, help me, please. The door won't open. Quick. Help me, please. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hurry. Barry. Go! What are you doing? You're just standing there. As soon as that door opens, I've been running through it. <laughs> you have to go in this room the first time you go by this room. Or else Barry will not save you. You were almost a jiffle sandwich. You, there's an alternate way to get the shotgun, which I, I can I'll talk about when I get there. But Barry. But this scene will not trigger unless you go in there the first time. Do some research. Why on I think I've gone in there once and it killed me. Yeah. Exactly. With Chris, the um, door to the shotgun room actually never locks. Because with Chris, Barry doesn't come save him. So you can actually go back in there and put the shotgun back and then leave normally. So. But thanks, Barry. I don't know why the fuck you were over here, but... Because you said something about you were going to investigate the dining hall. I was also almost a Jill sandwich. Kill that zombo. I'm gonna come through here a lot, so... Is he... Okay. You can tell when a zombie's dead. Because you can see the pool of blood. There should be... Yeah, there's another one. I am actually going to do this. So I don't waste more bullets, because I don't have that many bullets. If you aim up while he's close... Take it's off. like a 90% chance that'll happen. You have to aim up, though. And it does not happen every time. It seems like it, but it does not. But even if you miss, it does, It still does massive damage to it. Yes, it does. <laughs> but you have to aim up. If you aim straight, it's not going to do that. Nope. Alright. So this puzzle, this puzzle's fun. Yes, there's a lot of puzzles in Resident Evil. That's the biggest reason why I like it. The picture is entitled The End of Life. There's a switch below where you push it. No. So... It gives you, like, a like a vague description of how you're supposed to do this. If you notice, like, if you examine the paintings, there's a button under each one of them. And it gives, bold like, a... Bold-looking old man. Bold-looking old man, yep. So, what you have to do is, it says, that last picture says the end of life. So, which is the last one you do, last button you push. You have to do it in order of age. Yep. So, like, this one is a newborn, newborn baby. That would, that would definitely be number one. If you do this in the wrong order, or if you shoot your gun, it's tired old man, so that one would nope. not be next, um, the crows will be set off and they will kill you. Or try to kill you. You can leave the room and come back in. And it'll just refresh it like you've never been here. Yeah. No, it's not that one. It should be... It's not the child yet. Infant. There we yeah. go. And then there should be a young child. A lively boy. Yeah. That's what it is. Push that. And then which one was this one again? Young man. Okay. Yep. And then he... And then middle-aged man. Should be this one. I think that... Hold on. I think this is actually the picture that actually tells you. From cradle to grave. Okay, that's the hint that you yep. give. Okay. And then it should be... This one. Bold looking old man. Mm-hmm. And then end of life. 
There we go. Man lived a full life. Now the painting falls. Now if I remember correctly, this room is actually, um, in the remake, it's actually going to be locked, and I think you need a key in order to get in here. So you can't do this right away. So yeah, that, that puzzle gives me a key to another puzzle in the game. Yay! <laughs> That's how this game's going to go. Puzzles on puzzles. Yeah.